Today, we're all about crossplay, with 15 fantastic titles that you can play online with your buddies, no matter what platforms they're playing on, as well as some exciting Xbox games that are confirmed to be implementing the feature soon. This video is brought to you by Mortal Kombat, in theaters and streaming on HBO Max on April 23rd, if you're one of our viewers stateside. Stick around for a look at the fighting and fatalities of this iconic franchise later in the video. But now, without further ado, let's go straight to the series that inspired this summer's bloodiest blockbuster. Over the years, the Mortal Kombat crew have had plenty of time to hone their skills, turning the 11th entry into one of the slickest and sickest arcade fighters of all time. Its roster is packed full of fan favorites like Sub-Zero and Johnny Cage, while later expansions have seen everyone from Robocop to even the Joker getting in on the action. And on next-gen hardware, it all looks as majestically gory as the new movie thanks to the dynamic 4K resolution of the Xbox Series X and S. There are few sweeter sounds in gaming than when your friends horrified gasps when you hit them with a grisly fatality. So the chance to inflict that on players of every gaming persuasion is music to our ears. Since it hit Game Pass on release day, the Xbox ranks are already filled with seasoned outriders ready to go to war with players from anywhere and everywhere. This sci-fi shooter drops you down into a futuristic war zone, gives you the keys to a vast arsenal of deadly space age weaponry, and basically wishes you all the best in all your future endeavors. You've also got some superpowers to call on, from manipulating fire to causing earthquakes, all of which can be tweaked to suit your playstyle, allowing you to craft your very own custom super soldier. And since Outriders is also kitted out with a handy cross-save feature, you can carry your bespoke killing machine forward with you if you decide to go to the next gen after picking up the game. Grab two friends from various platforms and play cooperatively to really maximize your destructive potential. Just maybe don't all take the pyromancer powers or the whole thing's gonna go up in smoke. In the words of a certain Rick Sanchez, Minecraft is a game where you mine things to craft with and then craft things to mine with, yeah? Which all sounds pretty quaint and pretty simple until you take a look at some of the things that certain players have managed to create. The truth is that Minecraft's simple premise means that its potential is basically limitless, and that's even before you set off on a blocky adventure for the ages in Minecraft Dungeons. With so much to see and so much to do, you'll want to bring a couple of block-friendly buddies along for the journey, and fortunately, both games are available on PC, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch as well, so you'll have plenty of friends to build with. Although, only Xbox Game Pass members can pick them up, both right now, at no extra cost. Much like Minecraft, Fortnite is a game that constantly reinvents itself. Epic Games would literally rather chuck the whole thing into a black hole and start again rather than risk going stale, which means that there's always something new to see for seasoned players, and it's always a great time to dive in for those who've yet to hitch a ride on the battle bus. The latest season lets players loose in a primitive land and has them crafting their own weapons and taming dinosaurs in order to survive. Basically, this is a game where you never know what's coming next, so you'll want to have a friend or two along to cover your six. Right, let's be honest, it would be worth getting your friends together on Star Wars Squadrons just to reenact the scene where all the rebels read out their call signs. Sure, you'll end up arguing about who gets to be Red 5, but at the end of the day, I think that's worth it. Because if you love the series and especially love its armada of iconic spaceships, Star Wars Squadrons is a guaranteed thrill ride. It puts you right inside the cockpit of every famous ship from across the series and lets you blast your way across the galaxy. Pew, pew, pew. And while Luke may have felt his way towards the perfect shot, you're definitely going to want to keep your eyes open to take in the game's sumptuous 4K or 120 frames per second visuals. Two teams of remote-controlled cars, a pair of goals, and a ball. The idea behind Rocket League is simple enough, that it works brilliantly as a frantic, free-to-play party game to introduce newcomers to. But those who stick around will find a shocking amount of tactical depth and technical nuance beneath the surface. And just like in regular football, there's always a new season right around the corner. So even rookie players have a chance of becoming the Lionel Messi of small robotic cars at some point in the future, regardless of their teammates' gaming platforms. 
Another titan of Battle Royale Gaming, Apex Legends boasts over 70 million players, so you'll have no trouble finding plenty of folks to play with, especially now that crossplay has arrived to bring everyone onto the same battlefield. A first-person shooter set in the same universe as the Titanfall games, Apex Legends' innovative ping system makes communication super smooth, even amongst strangers, but there's still nothing like grabbing a headset and a couple of buddies to strategize your way through another round of fast-paced action. Plus, it's totally free to download on your Xbox, so getting the whole gang together has never been easier. Sea of Thieves is a really fun game where you all play as pirates and go around doing pirate things together. Finding treasure, firing cannons, saying "arg," the whole thing. Thanks to a next-gen update, the game now runs in 4K and at 60 FPS on the Series X. So you'll be able to appreciate every parrot feather and shining gold doubloon along the way, whilst playing along with your friends on Windows 10 PCs as both versions are available now on Game Pass. Named the best evolving game at this year's BAFTAs, Sea of Thieves is always changing, so even if you know that X marks the spot, who knows what you'll find once you get there. Can you even talk about online gaming without bringing up the Call of Duty franchise? I know Benny certainly can't. Whether you're delving back into the retro thrills of Cold War, taking advantage of the cutting-edge weaponry of modern warfare, or jumping into the free-to-play carnage of Warzone, Call of Duty caters to first-person shooter fans of just about any persuasion and any gaming platform. And thanks to Crossplay, you can snipe away at your friends no matter what they're playing on, because if the true meaning of friendship isn't laughing maniacally as you wipe someone out with an automatic shotgun, well then I just don't know what is. Dead by Daylight is an asymmetrical survival game, where one player takes control of a vicious killer and the rest play as their potential victims. You'll be up against all kinds of horrors, with bad guys from series like Stranger Things and Silent Hill popping in to say a blood-curling hello. Included as part of your Xbox Game Pass subscription, you'll only want to recruit your savviest friends to help make it through the night. So at least crossplay means you won't be limited to those playing on the same system as you. Just play smart, stick together, and never ever say things like, I'll be right back. Back when Roblox first launched, it basically just handed players the tools to build their own games and got out of their way. Fast forward a few years and it's now got one of the biggest, most active player bases anywhere in the world and boasts a vast library of games of every kind. Paint the town red with your friends in Big Paintball, all take to the field in Super Strikers to see how a high-pressing, possession-based game fares when there are mummies rising out of the ground and people throwing bombs or, you know, do just about anything else. The great thing about Roblox is that it's basically whatever game you want it to be, and you can play with pretty much anyone you want to invite, whether they're on an Xbox console, Android device, or PC. Speeding past your opponent on the way to the finish line is up there with tearing their head off at the end of a Mortal Kombat bout in terms of multiplayer gaming satisfaction, especially in a game as effortlessly stylish as Need for Speed Heat. Currently available on Xbox Game Pass for both console and PC, this is one of the smoothest rides to come off the Need for Speed production line in its illustrious 25-year history. It features slick visuals, gorgeous locations, and of course, enough tuned-up supercars to devour all the petrol on the planet a few times over. With PC, PlayStation, and Xbox console gamers all in on the action, it's sure to be a crowded field, so you'll have to burn some serious rubber to be the first over the line. The Gear series has been at the forefront of Xbox gaming for generations now, and it's easy to see why this seasoned veteran still commands so much respect. It's one of the tightest third-person shooters ever built, and it tells the kind of block-busting, heart-wrenching stories that used to be reserved for the silver screen. Once you and your squad have made it to the end of the epic campaign and pulled out one for your fallen comrades, there's a whole new theatre of war to dive into, thanks to the game's expansive multiplayer offerings across both Windows 10 and Xbox consoles. Because taking a chainsaw bayonet to the face of an enemy is fun, but taking a chainsaw bayonet to the face of a friend is what life's really about. Anyone who has ever been a child, which is most people, has wondered what it would be like to be the size of a bug, to stare up at the blades of grass as if they were gigantic trees and watch raindrops battering the ground like artillery shells. Grounded shrinks you down to ant size 
so you can live out that fantasy, which means you'll have to watch out for actual ants and other critters. Scoop up the game preview now from Game Pass for PC or console and check out the biggest, smallest game in town. Best of all, even if some of your friends struggle with creepy crawlies, Grounded's arachnophobia-friendly settings lets you tinker with their appearance so you can all enjoy the game together, whether that's on your Xbox console or PC. Nothing says spending time together more than hiding from a wolf spider in your severely weakening grass fort. Right? Among Us quickly became one of the signature games of an era where we've all had to spend far too much time cooped up together. At a certain point, it's only natural to start giving each other the side eye. In a soft survival game channels exactly that feeling by putting you in control of a spaceship crew with a bunch of maintenance tasks to complete. Only, one of you is actually an imposter with a much more murderous mission in mind. The game is already available on PC via Game Pass as well as on mobile devices, plus it will be arriving on consoles later in the year along with the brand new airship map to provide a nice change of scenery for that next round of bloodshed and betrayal. But no matter what system your friends are playing on, remember to suspect everyone. Because sure, you're paranoid, but are you paranoid enough? Hmm. And Among Us isn't the only game which is set to get the crossplay treatment in the near future. Its fellow lockdown sensation, Fall Guys, will also be bumbling its way onto Xbox consoles later this year. While the developers behind both Borderlands 3, Destiny 2 and Watch Dogs Legion have indicated that you'll soon be able to team up with players from across the gaming world to cause even more chaos. Thanks again to Mortal Kombat for partnering with us on this video. Remember, if you're over in the US, then this movie is coming to theaters and HBO Max on April 23rd. But if you just can't wait that long to see this worldwide phenomenon come to life, then check this out. A dragon marking? It's an invitation to fight for something known as Mortal Kombat. The fate of Earth is in our hands. Get over here! I am Sub Zero. Mortal Kombat in theaters and HBO Max April 23rd. Radar. So, like most things, gaming is better with friends, and the addition of crossplay to so many of our favourite titles just makes it even easier for us all to play together. And after a year of not being able to see one another, that kind of means more than ever, to be honest. Let us know in the comments which games you'd love to see become crossplayable in the future, and go on, drop a cheeky little like on the way out. Cheers. Bye bye.